proposed events can be difficult. If you want to set a meeting with somebody and you're not sure when they're available, you can do that thing where you send multiple emails back and forth, or you can sign up for some web service, or with Fantastical, you can solve it all with one step. To make a proposed event in Fantastical, just start by making a normal event. But when you're done, propose another time, and they've got a button for it right there. Propose another time. And by default, it's gonna propose time on the following days at the same time. But you don't have to stay with that. You could make this one also for, instance, January 13th at 9 a.m. Actually, since I have an appointment that day, I'll make it 12 p.m. Then I'll propose that for another few days as well. I can drag them around on the calendar if I want. So there I've got five different proposals for this conference call. Now I'm gonna add a person to the call. Now I've added an invitee. And I can add the proposal. Now you'll see once I've done that, it puts all of those events on my calendar with a little proposed symbol next to them. The recipient gets an email that looks like this. Once you click on that, it takes you to a web page that looks like this. And let's say we're going to go ahead and select the uh, January 14th at 1.15. Scroll down and confirm. Then when I get back to Fantastical, you'll see all those proposed events are gone. And the 1.15 at Tuesday is now set on my calendar. This feature works the same on the iPhone and the iPad. I've got Fantastical for the iPhone open here. I'm going to add a new event. I'll call it the weekly check-in. And then I'm gonna ask it to show more. It's currently set as all day, so I'll set it for a specific time. And that will be tomorrow at 4 p.m. or 1600, lasting 30 minutes. And then I can just hit this propose another time button. So I'll tap that a few times. And now I've added it as a proposal at 4 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Now it needs an invitee. So I've added my assistant to that. And if I hit the propose button, off it goes. And you can see as I look through the next several days, I've got that proposed weekly check-in each day at 4 o'clock until she responds. I've seen a lot of different ways to try and schedule events over the years, and this is by far the best. Not only does it allow the recipient to pick among several times, it also reserves the available times on your calendar in the interim. So often with other systems, I'd make a proposal, and between then and the time that the recipient wrote me back, I'd fill the time already. This works with non-fantastical users on the other side, and it also creates an event for the recipient. This is just a great feature all the way down.